Hello everyone, no response here. I hope you're doing well, having a grand week and all that jazz. So in this video, I'm doing a sort of hour, hour and a half or so of a kind of early game guide of the game The Long Dark. So those of you who haven't played The Long Dark, it is a very, very cool uh, survival game, very, very slow paced uh, by the developer Hinterland Studios. It's been out for a while now. I started playing it in kind of 2014, 2015. I believe that's when it was just leaving beta, and it's a very, very cool game that gets consistent updates, and it's something that I tend to play for about kind of 20, 30 hours at a pop every few months or every year or so, uh, mainly because they add because they regular content updates, and for me it's a very cathartic and enjoyable game to play, and as of, I believe it was, uh, I think it was the 10th, but as you can see there, the Errant Pilgrim update dropped, I think it was, yeah, I think it was the 10th, so about a week or so ago. And I thought it'd be perfect time to jump straight into it myself, as I'm on my Christmas holidays, but also do a video I've wanted to do for a while, which is this guide. Uh, so what I'm doing, as I said, is playing survival mode, which will be this one here. And I'm going to play it on a normal difficulty, which is Voyager. Uh, you can play it on harder difficulty, Stalker, or insanely harder Interloper if you want. But I'm playing it at Voyager because most of you watching this video who haven't played the game, this is where you'll start. You can play on Pilgrim if you want. I would advise against it because Voyager, it won't take you very long to get the hang of the game. And then you want that. Voyager's great because it has quite a continuous challenge to it. Um, and it's kind of enjoyable without being punitive. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to start at the first location, which is Mystery Lake. Uh, obviously, I believe it's been a while, um, but when you first start the game up, uh, you won't have the option to go to the others. I'm pretty sure you have to discover them first, but don't quote me on that. But again, it's been so long, so I can't remember. There are definitely more locations, uh, I think, anyway. So I'm going to start Mystery Lake just because it's a starting location. It's very new player friendly, and it's also, I know, for the back of my hand as well, so it's, it's the best one. Um, just pay attention to the map that you see right there. Uh, very important. The... North to where, north to south on the train tracks. As you can see, it's got a very, very clear train track running through the centre, and and on the is it um, east side, you've got the river. So those are kind of very important landmarks that we will be paying attention to, and I will kind of reference. So let's just jump straight into it. Now you can play male or female. I'm a bloke, so I'm just going to play me, just because why not? But you know, the the actors for both are pretty well done. So you play who you like. <clears throat> no, I actually um, have tried to do this video a couple of times before, but I keep getting stupidly lucky starts to the point where it's not really representative of the game. So it randomizes where you start, what time of day, and to an extent what items you start with. Where am I? Hopefully it's not night time. Ah, it's good. It's not night time. Sweet. This is a surprisingly decent... It's very cold, though. Um, and what gear have I got? So basically, first thing you do, always check what temperature it is. It's stupendously cold, but I've started with reasonably... Um, I don't have any trousers on, so I'm just walking around. Oh, no, I've got jeans on. Okay, cool. Uh, one time I started with just long johns. So I'm on, I believe, on the west side of the map. If I can see where... Yeah, I think so. Oh, there's a location. Oh, careful, don't hurt your ankle. It's actually a pretty reasonably decent location I've started in. Um, good idea to get my bearings is quickly try and get to the train tracks or see where the uh, where the towers are. There are two towers in this area. I might actually be in... Yeah, I might actually be in the north westerly side. Let's pop in here. <coughs> oh, that is a good start. <laughs> okay, one thing you want to get to Storm Lantern really Storm fast. Um, <laughs> hypothetically, I did a video on this. I tried to do Once Upon a Time ages ago, and I couldn't find a lantern everywhere, and it was just like, well, this isn't very good. Um, so, we're going to be looking for clothing. Obviously, is supremely important. And as much as we can, I'm going to try and show you a few useful techniques. Things like hunting rabbits. And then also using uh, sneaky tactics like cutting off cuts of meat to use as bait or another thing I'd be showing in this. Um, it's quite cool that we've not started, I hope, near the dam. If we do, I'm going to not explore it because it takes about half an hour to do. And to us, it's a bit of a boring place to start next to because it just makes the game a little bit easier. But what I'll do is I'll show you where it is towards the end of the video. Also, there might be monsters in the dam, so I'll leave that surprise to you. Um, whenever you get a lantern, <coughs> um, obviously don't keep running. 
Uh, but when you're exploring a building for the first time, absolutely use it. If you don't have a lantern, use something else because you don't want to miss bits because you'll probably never be visiting some of these locations again. So, you know, for example, there might be like things like ammunition and also uh, hunting knives tend to um, be stuff that you might miss and they're insanely, insanely helpful or almost essential. Uh, certain things, like I said, rose tips are also very, very cool as well. Oh, this is quite good on the old clothing here. I just went for a period once, right? Ooh, a cooking pot, do you want that? Cycled cans, do you want that? Is there any? Let's take charcoal from there as well. That's uh, so the one thing you can do. So I've got charcoal here like this. It's a bit noisy. Um, I can go to this here, navigation. And so again, I'm sorry, I'm going to press the radio menu down, go to navigation, and I'm using my charcoal. Oh, wait, wrong button. I think it's this one. How do I do it? Oh, yeah, you do I'm being stupid. Get the charcoal out. There we go. And then you survey local area. You're going to get cold doing this, but it's obscenely handy for kind of just getting your bearings, especially at the start. If you, ca if you find a landmark, try and do that, because then you'll be able to gauge where you are on the map if you do it in a, another Dive, location. Warm up soon. Um, also, ignore what he says. You're pretty much quite better than he thinks. Um, I do want some gloves, though. So basically, in terms of the health effect, so you may notice it said I've got hypothermia risk. Hypothermia is an issue for extended periods of time. And if you're a little bit hurt then yes. Don't be too scared of it, though. Um, I can wander around and be pretty safe. One, because I know where I am. But also, because of the fact that it's not a blizzard, I can see where I'm going, I've got loads of food, I'm not hurt in any other way. So, especially at this point of the game, it's, it's kind of useful to kind of make these risks a little bit. So, but the big important thing is try and get gloves. Oh, I'm getting loads of clothes. This is sweet. Uh, try and get gloves and shoes, two most important things, because if your hands or your fingers are uh, are um, exposed, you can get frostbite, and that's what you don't want. Okay, technically I did have gloves, but I don't really count these shit gloves as gloves. Oh, God damn it! there we go. Ooh, these are nice new ones, very nice. I'm actually getting quite solid in the old uh, clothing here, which is grand. I need a hat, though. But that should be pretty grand. Okay. So, got everything here. Sweet. Um, to put one of those games that once you've cleared out... Effectively, if you, if you kind of commit to this, you can play this for, like I said, hundreds of hours. Which one was I in? That one, I think. You can play it for an obscenely long time. Um, I said I've racked up several hundred hours on this. Um, and once you've, like, clear cleared out an area... You can then just go off and, um, you know, do some other stuff. And then where you start getting to the point where you have so many items, you have to... Well, you don't have to, but you can leave stuff behind. And you start to be a bit more economical with what you're carrying around. Mainly because you have weight and your character moves slowly. But this is kind of the important side, period. Could end up being useful. Oh, hats. That's what I needed. Um, because of the fact that currently right now I'm going to get an abundance of food and items. But they will run out. And when they run out, I need something sustainable to replace them with. So um, my big concern right now is getting some form of weapon. Um, ideally a gun, but at the very least... Oh, handy. A, um, like a knife would be pretty cool. Um, just in some way to kill something. The knife will be a bit risky, though, because that means I'm going to have to basically just get in a fight with a wolf. Which is going to be fun. But... Right now, I need to get a gun quite fast. I didn't see you there. We're getting quite lucky with the healing items, actually. The healing, the heating items. So that's pretty cool. Um, you will find yourself, well, not getting as lucky as me. Well, that's good. And we'll get that. Cool. And I've got two hats on, which is great. Nice. And we've got... Oh, those boots are good. Um, eventually I will... Um, what I do spend a lot of time doing is breaking down all of my clothing. So I tend to keep a backup of clothes. But often you want to break down. If you're being, like, efficient, 
Oh, uh, you'll want to break items down. So I think... Aha. Uh -huh. So I actually think we're in the northwest. Because you can see that red thing up there. <clears throat> That's the best way. I don't want to hurt my ankle, so I'm going to go around this way, actually. Now, um... So the dam's up that way, basically. I'm not going to actually go towards the dam because it's too cold to boring. Think. Yeah, I know where I am. Okay, so I'm in the northwest side of the map. Um, <laughs> I could check over here actually. <clears throat> so there is um, there is an it as a a random fallout shelter that can spawn around around places. Not in this one. I think it's further down there. Um, am I at the one? Oh, yeah, no, I am. Look, there's the radio tower. Um, and basically, it has a chance to spawn. It's not there. It's around over here somewhere. I might go looking for it. It's quite a fun thing to discover. It just basically is this kind of survivalist bunker, which has loads of bits and pieces in it. And it's quite handy. However... I probably won't because it's, it's a bit of an excursion to find and it's random if it appears it appears in certain places I've seen it a few times. Usually it's when it's in that one spot is when I find it. Oh Okay, yeah, yeah, all right Oh, hello Oi, oi Yeah, you see my survive mine getting hypothermia Yeah, worry about it too much Right now when you see some stones little things like this we're gonna need those one, because they're the most basic form of weapon. Um, but two, because they're good for taking out bunny rabbits. Right. Do I just go and check once? Okay, I'll check once. I'm going to take a five minute quick excursion over this way. So, if it's not here, then I won't look for it. But if you're ever in this location, you'll recognize it because there'll be that radio tower there. That sign there. I think it's a couple of days until the wolves start appearing as well. So we're pretty safe for like a day or two, I think. Um, yeah, I believe so. I think they deliberately give you a grace period of a couple of days. Um, up here, there is a very small chance of a survivalist bunker to spawn. Now, it's not a very good player home because of the fact that... Um, uh, it's really out of the way, and it doesn't, if I remember correctly, it doesn't have any form of, like, cooking. So it's deliberately a place that doesn't want you to stay. Um, while we're here, let's kill some bunny rabbits. Now, um, if you've got stone, uh, you may think this is harder than it actually is. It's surprisingly easy. I will probably miss my first shit, though. Yeah, I thought as much. Always miss my first hit. It's fine. It's a knack, but not too hard a knack. So, this is one of the easiest ways to get lots of reliable meat, but also... Ah, I'll get one, don't worry. I will get one. You're laughing at me right now. Yeah, you're fine. Come here, you little shit. Ah, alright, we'll get those on the way back. Let me check the bunker first. Um, to us, it's probably easier if I'm not on a slope. <laughs> uh, basically, you can just whack them at rocks. Um, you get kind of a knack to it. As it's been a while since I've done it, um, my knack is apparently gone. I've, lo I've lost my mojo, basically. Um, but it's a very useful way to get a... Get, for example, things like rabbit skin mittens quite easy. But it's also a very useful way for bait as well. Because you can basically kill one of those, very quickly skin it into a load of load of pieces. And then when any time a wolf comes along, you can just drop it down. Right, now, a couple of places um, where the old... Bunker spawn. So you'll see it when you're on top of it. It's a big grey hatch pointing out of the ground. So it might be here. It's worth taking it. At this point of the game where there are no wolves around and I've got an abundance of food and items. It's probably handy just to have a quick look. There's a couple of points. Uh, that is the main point that spawns. If you're near this location, definitely it's worth... Because this is... The reason why this one specifically is the best place to look because it's not really too much of an excursion to quickly check. And if it happens to be here, it pretty much just makes you for a few days. Um, it has loads of just survival gear and stuff. If we're lucky, it's there. 
If not, then well, <laughs> screw me, I guess. <laughs> it's fine, you got to see me uh, painfully miss the bunny rabbit. Now, I might break my ankle in a sec, don't worry about that. Oh no, I'm fine. Fair dues. Right, sometimes up here. Oh, careful, might break my ankles again. Sometimes it's like, it's been up here like once and it's like completely round the corner and it was, <laughs> I nearly missed it. Okie dokie, not there. And is it over here? They, I think it's always in one of the places. Um, you can actually, you know, commit some time to actually finding it. It just has an abundance of food and a few other bits. I think it has a load of ammunition in it as well. It doesn't look like we're going to get lucky this time. But it is sort of always worthwhile just to have a crafty look-see. And then what I'll do is I'll um, head back down. We're going to go down that way to the, up that tower. There are two towers, one of which of, has been destroyed. So, no bunker as far as I can tell. Alright, okay, well that's shit. But it's probably good actually. It would have been a little bit of an OP start. But as we spawned reasonably close to it, um, I thought I'd check. Normally what I do is I'll um, I'll come from the south to the north, and I'll actually swing by the bunker. Now, someone who's more experienced might be screaming at the uh, screen now, going, Actually, David, you should have gone straight to the, um, straight to the dam, which is technically true. Um, basically, on the north side of the map, there's a dam, which has just loads of stuff in it. The problem is, it takes, as I said, about 30 minutes or so to explore fully, and it's a bit boring. Um, also, occasionally there are wolves inside, so... Or are there, or aren't there? That's for you to find out, but I will show you where it is at the end of this video. Right, okay, so we're heading back now. Can I break this down, or do I need an axe? I'm forgetting. I need an hatchet. Well, up yours. Right, so yeah, always check round there, have a gander at the points I mentioned, but uh, there we go. Okay, if you're squeamish, sorry about this, I'm going to give you a warning now. Turn the volume off, you don't like it. I warned you. <laughs> right, we'll get two of them. Oh, we'll try and kill all of them really quick. Um, you need about four or six, that's all you need to craft all of the gear. Oh, look at that, on a roll. Evidently, the killer instinct is upon me now. It's so easy. To the point where they should probably... And I think they... I think there has been discussion on whether they want to make that as easy as it is. Because it is just stupidly easy to kill them. They don't actually give you much meat, though. It's mainly useful for bait for wolves. As uh, when I get a knife or a hatchet, I will demonstrate. Oh, I thought I was going to get three in a row there. Ah, you know what? I'll leave those two. That's fine. Two will be enough for me. Plus, where I'm going, there'll be loads. Okay. Um, always pick up twigs when you're around. Twigs? Sticks? If you can hear that siren, by the way, that is an ambulance going by my house. There are absolutely no ambulances in this area of the game. Just so you know. Right, so I've got two now. So, the reason I want to get one of those quite quickly is that now if a wolf does appear, I can use... I can drop one of those on the floor as bait. Or what I can do is when I get a knife, I can actually then, um... I do need to go into the warm at some point. Um, uh, or um, when I get a knife, I can slice it into pieces and then actually uh, drop the bits. All right, so wolves are less of an issue than you'd think, but also a much bigger issue than you may realize. It's one of those weird, they can still be really annoying, but they're also not too much. See, my health is getting a bit low, so I might wanna make a fire in a minute. Now that we're in, what I'll do is, because I want to get it, because the wind might take my fire out, I'm going to go up the hill, and there's a bit of a lean-to up here, and we're going to use that to recover my warmth a bit. I'm possibly maybe being a little bit chopsy. Had I not done that excursion for the, um, for the bunker, I'd probably have been okay, but I just, well, I was there. A bit of a risky manoeuvre. Basically, don't don't go to the bunker if you have to. If you don't want to. If you don't need to, is what I'm saying. Sprained risk. Okay, it's because I'm tired, and that means I'm getting heavy. It's fine, we'll take a, a quick nap. As long as it doesn't blizzard, I should be pretty solid. I mean, wait. 
Yeah, it's not even very cold now, actually, in the ground. So if I can um get up here, I should be pretty solid. When I first saw that, I thought someone had peed on the snow. Just thought I'd... Yeah, it's not yellow snow. They're plants, mate. I thought it was we. So there are two of these. I think this is the tallest one. Um, this one, now, if I've got it correctly, there used to be one. Like, back, this is like years ago, when, when back in the day, when I was a young man. There used to be one. And then they made two and demolished one of them. And I think this is the one that used to be standing and now it's not. It's demolished and it's the other one. Yeah, see, this one used to be standing up. Or is it the other round? I can't remember which way it is. Uh, this is good because there's loads of stuff over here. Oh, I need a hatchet. Oh! Ho -ho! What a find! What a find! Uh, that is an incredibly good find. Ha ha ha! Okay, so I didn't realize, actually, that um, a gun can spawn here. That, kids and kiddos, is very handy. Right, we're gonna go in here. You're right there, dear. I'm um, you know, it's a little symbol in the top. That means I'm protected by wind. Um, I'm gonna be a bit cheeky and... I think it doesn't look like there's gonna be a wind for a bit, so I'm gonna risk it. There's a big box. This is a great area for stuff, basically. It's definitely worth going up here. This is also quite a wolf-heavy area-ish. So, the fact that they're not around yet... Oh, that's not taking that. Um, I would pretty much advise against ever getting mountaineering rope. There's the other one, by the way. Um, mountaineering rope is just... It's just not worth it, to be honest. Right. Uh, take charcoal. That's poor. I'm not going to do my map just yet. I will do it in a minute. I do have accelerant. Um, use reclaim wood. Okay, before we do that, we're going to quickly... Because I'm all about that efficiency. Uh, ideally, if you don't, don't um, burn newspaper. Try and harvest it for tinder plugs. But again, when you're, you're things like this... Because I'm so cold, I'm actually gonna use accelerant. Accelerant will guarantee that you start the fire. And it'll start it quickly. That should help warm things up. Okay. Let's add. I mean, I don't need. Um, I'd rather use reclaim wood or sticks, actually. Give me an hour and a bit. Yeah, okay, cool. Right, so I'm going to warm up now. Which be grand. Uh, let's do some cooking, actually, while we're here. Do I have any stuff? Do I have a tin opener? I can't remember if I picked one up or not. I did not, so I won't cook that. Oh, I do have the bunny rabbits, don't I? Oh, no, I don't have a knife, so I can't even... um. Well, that's annoying. So I can boil some water, at least. Do I have a pot? I do have a pot, so let's boil some water. Um, cook. You didn't have to do it that way. You can just click on it and just go like that and go to cook. Right. So, cooking pot, water. You can melt up to two hours. Um, so time to cook one hour. So I'm to cook. I let's do it in one. So that'll be 30 minutes. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is, while we're doing that. Oh, what did I do? For fuck's sake. Wrong button. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Yes, it is, dear. I'm going to survey the local area. So now I can see where I was in relation to where I was before. It also marks certain points in the map as well, so I now know there's a fur limb there. There's just rose hips, there's loads of bits and pieces. Ten minutes until melted. Um, anything I can do. Um, I would always recommend, if you've got anything you can kind of do in those 10 minutes, do that instead of... You can basically select the item and pass the time instead. Just try and, like, make as efficient use of your time as possible. And that should be till boiled. 
I'm because that's gonna run out, I'm going to quickly scoot around for a twig. There must be a twig around here somewhere. I'd rather not use reclaim wood if I can help it. Any twiggies? The technique are called sticks, David, not twigs, yeah. Absolute reprobate you. No, there ain't nothing. Alright. Fine, I'll use my reclaimed wood. Reclaimed wood's kind of the the second worst fuel type. But things like fire logs and cheddar wood, or cedar wood, I don't know what's pronounced, um, are more valuable. Books are incredibly valuable when you're low level because it makes the fire easier to start. Right, that'll do. Oh, that's actually fine. Cool. Right, crouch down. So let's just harvest that. I'm a bit hungry, actually. I'm a bit tired, but what I'll probably do is sleep here for maybe an hour or two and then make my journey back down that way to an area. Right, yeah, that's a good shout, actually. I hope it doesn't get cold. There we go. Take hey, it. Drop something. Right, so while we're doing that, water. Maybe two litres, because I've got that for an hour. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly nap for like an hour. Get this as close as you can. Um, you also get a heat bonus when you sleep. So even if like I'm only getting like a little bit of warmth now, I'll get an extra bonus heat, uh, bonus bed warmth for 4.5. So make the note that you can actually sleep during when it's cold, as long as you've got like a little bit of warmth next to you. So you can like, if it's not too cold, you can sleep without a fire near you, for example. Cool, I just did a little bit of sleeping. I'm gonna... Eat these. So basically, I don't want to sleep all the way through the night because I don't want to be out here when it's dark. But it's not a massively long walk to one of the uh, homes. Realistically, I maybe shouldn't have drunk that, actually, because it was wasting a bit of water. But it's fine. 45 minutes till boiled. What I'm going to do is... Fuck it. Actually, 46, 46, I'm gonna risk it, and I'm asleep for one hour. Hopefully, I might have just missed boiling that water. It sounds like it's boiled. Yeah, brilliant. Sometimes, if you're looking at the time, try and make sure you've got at least one minute left on the fire compared to one minute left there, because you might get a point where you might, something behind. you might effectively just not boil the water, and it's it's just really frustrating. Oh, there was freaking wood there anyway. Right, so we've got a little bit of energy now. I've also healed my hypothermia. Now, for those of you who are looking in the corner, you can see the arrows, right? It's pretty self-explanatory. The one at the the first one is next to the heat, and you see the arrow is just one arrow. That means that I'm not... I'm getting colder, but not very fast. It means I'm getting very sleepy, though. However, risk I'm worth... I can risk the, the cold. And you can see I'm getting a little bit hungrier and a little bit thirstier as well. So this is the perfect time to be wandering around in terms of temperature because I'm slowly getting colder, but not by much. So I can be out for quite a while. Don't forget your bedroll as well. I mean, you get a few of them, but... Uh, you can actually get a... um, What's it called? Uh, a bearskin bed roll, which makes you really, really warm and also slightly creeps out wolves. That's quite nice. Bears are scary, though. You can headshot a bear, which I did once. Oh, yeah, we got the gun, didn't we? Boy! We got one bullet, but... Again, it, because of this period in the game, I'm probably going to find lots and lots of ammo. It's This is why the first hour is good, but you kind of want to be as efficient as possible. The big takeaway is... Throw rocks at bunnies. Um, I'm gonna once I get a knife, I'll show you a useful trick for making off cuts of meat. And also, don't be too scared of getting hypothermia. Hypothermia 
ostensibly is the least scary of all of the conditions. And it also depends how cold it is anyway. Hypothermia is bad when you're, like, with other things. And you see, the big issue is it's getting a little bit misty and we can't see very much. But I should be alright. Did I do this guy over here? I think I did. Yeah, alright, okay. So we're going that way now. So a really good way to do in this area is you kind of sort of want to do the west side and the east side and then down the centre and then you're pretty much done and you can just leave. Um, uh, this is why this is kind of the best starting location. I'm also really lucky with where we started because I'm pretty sure it is about... I think it's day two before the wolves... So there's a deliberate like one day break until the wolves start appearing. Yes, I could kill that deer. No, I'm not going to. Because um, I'm too weighed down as it is. But it takes about, I think it's by the second day before the wolves start appearing. And this is probably the most wolf hair, um, wolf hairy, wolf heavy area you find. So getting that out of the way before the wolves actually start appearing, kind of a lucky move there. And again, I could have technically gone the other direction and gone north and gone straight to the dam, but that's just boring. It's, it's, yeah, the dam's good. Basically, to be honest, you're probably better doing the dam straight away if you land near it, but I'd recommend against it. Also, there's sometimes a wolf inside, so there's that. Don't break your ankles. I do have bandages if need be. Oh, there it is. Ow. Right, okay, so I've hurt my ankle, which is a good time for me to show you how to heal yourself. Right, so I have um, no painkillers, but I do have bandages, so that's fine. My eyes are going to be thing. This is fine. Oh, I thought it's antibiotics I have. Uh, use. Uh, you get to select, so obviously pay attention. Don't accidentally use it on your pain. You use it on your an sprained ankle. <sighs> there we go. I've got a bit of pain. Bit blurry on the side there. Um, you You're going to sprain your ankle a lot. Get used to it, yeah? <laughs> Um, especially when you're kind of carting loads of goods around. I can probably rest up actually over here on, rather than uh, my initial location because I'm a little bit bit thing. I have rose hips. I don't know. Let's get some twiggies. I don't care. They're called sticks. They're not sticky. They're twiggy. Music's a little bit ominous as you can see. Ooh, birch. Uh, you see a big shiny tree like this? Have a look around. There's occasionally bark on the floor. And you can make nice tea out of that. Alright, maybe there aren't. There sometimes is. Alright. Quit your whining, you're fine. Tis but a scratch. A bit of pain, mate. Got some wood matches. In we go. Right, okay. How are we doing? Yeah, loads of time. Um, I started with it. I've got a torch, and I'm pressing the... I can use the radio menu. I just use the uh, use the up and down directional pad. Um, if you're uh, just a little bit of a quality of life thing, you don't need to carry everything with you all the time. You need a, a player base that you store stuff. I already have mine in mind. To be honest, I might better just go straight to it now, but I'm probably going to go to the cabin and then swing round. That we've done the entire west side. Oh, hello, painkillers. Hello. Um, they're a little bit off. They should be fine. There we go. And I'm fully healed. His condition's a bit low. I, I probably could sleep for a bit. Uh, depends what time it is. I might actually sleep for a little bit in a bed. Let's, uh, as we're next to a bed. No, it'll also mean that I'm not cold. Uh, <laughs> anything under the... Oh, did I even... No, I didn't do that. This is a bit of a shit one. Painkillers are good, though, I guess. Right. Always, 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 always turn your lantern off when you go to bed. Um, seems obvious. But... Oh, I'm a bit wet, so I'm going to want to... You can dry your clothes off by standing next to a fire, which we will do, but we won't do now. Um, 
Maybe you give me self an hour. You get one hour. Heal a bit of condition. Oh, see, it's getting a bit dark now. Should be fine. I know my way around here. <coughs> Depends how... Uh... Okay, it's not too misty. You know, how much food do I have? Nah, I'm going to risk it and go to the thing. It's just over here. I mean, I say just over here. It's actually quite a ways, but... We'll be fine. We'll be fine. A uh, useful little technique you can do if you want to... This game isn't as punishing as to wipe your save. So if you, for example, when you go into a building, it, it saves the game. So, for example, if I were to die outside right now, it'll save from when I first just went into that building. So it's just worth knowing that if you want to, say, for example, test out a run, you can kind of go in a building and then kind of run around, test the area. It's useful for things like taking out bears and stuff. Bear in mind, though, you can get to a point, and this is what kills a lot of people, is you save when you're basically nearly dead and you have no hope of getting anywhere. So just sort of bear that in mind. That's kind of how I normally die, actually. The few times I've died. So I'm getting quite cold, as you can see now. Uh, there's some bits and pieces around here. There should be... Just because I know it off by heart. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, you can just see it looming in the distance there. There is a uh, little hunter stand thing. Which means, just over there, is the woodcutter's cabin. Or trapper's cabin. I always call it the woodcutter's cabin. Fucking flares. Oh, is that a bow? Oh, we're getting lucky with the weapons, aren't we? Get in. Oh, and a hatchet. Ooh. Feels like a lot of gear. That's because it's a lot of gear, love. You're also really tired. Okay, we're nearly at the trapper's cabin, though, so. Um. This, the reason why this area is the best day to start in, right, is because I can visually get my bearings and, like, it, it's really easy to... It's simple to not get lost in this area, shall we say. Basically, we're going that way, or, or that way-ish. Oh, I'm all weighed down now. I'm not also that hot, too cold. So, I want to show you this whole thing as well because it's kind of like a... <laughs> It really makes you appreciate. I, I just I love this atmosphere of just trudging through the cold. A bit tired. He's a bit hungry too. But sanctuary is nearby. And we've had a really solid actually, as long as I don't suddenly get mauled by a bear or something. Oh, he's getting a bit dark though, isn't it? Um you will see the trackers coming from a mile away though, so it's fine. Um it's about that way actually. Fortunately, the area where it is is quite wide, so even if I slightly miss it by a, a couple of 10, 20 meters, I'll see it nearby. Um, <clears throat> is, yeah, I just, I, I just love the atmosphere of this, but as long as we get to there without, um, this is going to demonstrate just taking risks, yeah? As long as we get there without any too much issue, which is, again, I don't think any wolves are there until tomorrow. Oh, no, this is going to be really steep, isn't it? I saw it just as I was walking over it. Do not try and go down steep ledges, yeah? You'll often break your ankle in, like, stupid little inclines. But if it looks like a drop, don't do it. Always, 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 always walk around. It's just not worth the the ball ache of, you know, getting all hurting your feet. See, what I like about this is, um, some people hate this kind of game a lot because you're like, oh, well, I'm just walking. And you are, but it's not really going to take me very long to get there. I said, basically, got that rock there, and it's up a hill. And, and then we're there. And that kind of palpable feeling of satisfaction when you get there. And then what we're going to do, because in terms of my actual weight, it's heavy-ish, but once I've rested, I should be fine. I could drop some stuff and come back for it, but I'm concerned about not being able to find it. So just round this rock. 
And we're very lucky there are no wolves about, actually. Although I do have a gun, so I can have a shoot them in the face. My head feels thick. You're fine, dear. Right, it's that way now. Um, the only reason I know this is because I've gone to this location loads of time, so I know where it is. Um, however, I would... <laughs> if you are new to this, this would kill you. You'd be like, I have no idea where to go. I just happen to know. I might have to nap. Nah, but I'm so close. It's literally over that hill. <laughs> uh, so one thing, and again, this might not be, if this whole experience is something you haven't really enjoyed, then it won't be the game for you at all. But there will be periods, and I absolutely love it, right? When you finish this, this, finish this whole area, and I load up with about 50 kilograms worth of gear, I literally put on a podcast, <laughs> and I just walk my character to the next area with all of his stuff. All I can think about is food. You're fine. Really, I think it would be the cold and the sleep, to be honest. Um, but he walks all the way with his stuff, and it takes you about 30 minutes. I mean, this has only taken me, what, five, seven minutes since we left that building. It's just, it, it sort of feels more because of, obviously, you know, it's a game and you're very aware of what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> it's just over this ledge. I think. Up again. I might break my ankle again, don't worry about it. It's fine. I've got painkillers now. Um, and another bandage, actually. Um, but, yeah, no, like, uh, you know, you put on, like, uh, I put on some music and you just Something's walk and it's... Me feel tired. Yeah, that's just sleep, dear. That ledge, it's over there. It's just over there. You'll see it. You should see it unless I've got the direction a bit wrong. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's quite it's quite satisfying when you go when you because this is like your home, but you can't stay here because it's not sustainable, and also it'd be boring as well just staying in the one location. So the journey from the, the central location in here to the next play at home, which I always pick, which is the the coastal garage. It's like this um like a gas station that's slightly snowed in, and it's a really nice location to start. I like. Oh, that's made me jump. You'll be fine. You sprained your wrist. Ah, uh, you'll be fine. Um, we'll just wait until we, we'll do it when we get inside. Um, it, it's quite a satisfying, but it does take you a good 30 minutes. Down we go. Should be seeing it now. Or have I slightly missed the angle? Here. I think it's over there. Yeah, that's it. Oh, you see that little... Oh, there it is, cuz! Um, be warned, because there's sometimes a bear around here. Um, did I not mention that? <laughs> we should be fine. Oh, boy! The weird thing is, right, see, that not that beautiful. Isn't that a wonderful sight? We're in pain, we're freezing, we're about to fall asleep. Gorgeous. Um, love it. Don't panic, it's fine. But, like, um, I love that that light's on, but it's not actually on. You'll go inside and there'll be nothing in there. So this has been an incredibly efficient use of my time. I'm basically now finishing my first day, and I've literally done, outside of one of the towers, but it's the easiest one to get to, the entire, like, um, east side of the map? East side? No. West side of the map, sorry. And now we're home. Well, temporary home, anyway. We're gonna go to sleep here. We haven't lost any toes. This is also a great location with some really rare gear in it, potentially. I've just missed the stairs. Where's the way in? I need anything right about now. Is it around? Oh no, it's around this way. Can't see the way up. Oh yeah, it's, it's here. God oh, damn it. Don't hurt your feet. There we go, good. And yeah, no, this is uh this was actually one of the more like favored player homes for ages. Um, I like it, it's cool. The problem is it's because it's like in the bottom corner of the map, it's not ideal. There's a, a camp office which we're gonna get to, uh, which is, as far as I'm concerned, the best place to go. It's actually my favorite place. And you can kind of stay there for quite a long time if you want. And we are here. Right, let's, uh, I'm gonna get my radio menu out. Rather than doing it the way. Voila. Yeah, see, there's no actual lights. And there's another gun! And ammo! Oh, son! Okay, so I've gotten excessively lucky. And another lantern as well. So, firstly, um, we're in pain and hungry. And, uh, is there a tin opener? 
There is an MRE there, though. Oh, that's not that some. So a little bit cold. Um, is there a can opener at all? No. That's right. Right, let's quickly do my thing. So, we're a bit hungry. I've got loads of nuts and things, so again... Again, at this point of the game, we've kind of got quite a, a lot of stuff. God, I'm carrying loads of water with me as well. So we're going to have to... I'd ideally not like to eat this stuff, but they don't really have much of a choice. I realistically should skin these rabbits. I'm not going to, though. Right, okay. So you may notice that we've now ran out of, nearly ran out of all of my food I was carrying. And that's something you've got to bear in mind. Am I still hurt? Sprained risk, and I'm in pain. Cool. You may notice the hypothermia risk. Basically, the higher it gets, the more... It develops, and actually I've been walking around for ages and I'm still pretty fine, so, uh, again. Again, always when you're taking meds, pay attention to using it on the right point. If I use it now on my hand, it will be wasted. So I need to use it on pain. Voila. And I'm fine now. So what I'm going to do is, rather than... Explore this area. I'm going to actually just rest up now. And that was a very successful, uh, successful exploration. Okay. Always, I always sleep for about kind of four to five hours. Um, any more, and you run the risk of kind of getting dehydrated. You can actually just die in your sleep. So bear that in mind. Always wake up for a a quick drink, basically. We'll do five hours. Now, normally, if this were my player home I'm staying, I'd start storing all of my stuff. But because we're going to be moving to the camp office instead of here, I'm basically going to be just loading up on all of the stuff here and then just making the slog up to the camp office. But we will do it when we're not tired. So there's that at least. We won't be sleeping. And look at that. Fully awake. And ready and raring to go. Okay, let's... Um, a sneaky thing you can do. I think it does save when you sleep, but I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do is, after I've done this, just to be sure, I'm going to basically leave the camp and go back into it again, just in case. Uh, there are notes by players. Um, I never read them. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for You'll much longer. You'll be fine, mate. It's fine. I don't have a price. So I will be coming back here at some point. Which means, as I'm going to be coming back here, and I don't want to walk for ages, I might actually come and get that another day. Because there's no real point carrying two guns if I know I'm going to be coming back here anyway. I don't want to be like... I don't want it to spend too long walking, so I'm actually going to leave a lot of stuff here. Um, which we'll do in a sec. Bits that I don't essentially need. Like, the water is a great example of a thing that you can actually leave quite comfortably because you really don't need it. It's, it's one of the most important things, but it's also one of the first things you drop. Which may seem quite odd. That and kind of spare clothes. Again, really important, but I don't necessarily need it immediately. Those are new. I could use this. Or at least new since I played last. Yeah, we're going to leave some stuff. But we're going to take stock of everything. Oh, I love my herbal tea. Makes you a... Uh, I like to quite role play with this. Yeah, we're definitely going to leave some stuff. Um, giving, once I get a bit more settled, I give my guy like um, cups of coffee when he starts his day and things like that. It's quite nice. Right, okay. So we've searched everything now, other than this. Right, so first and foremost, cracking a safe. Super simple. Um, you've got three tumblers, and when you hear a click... That's one of them done. Obviously, it can take you ages if you do it like that. So what I do is I just do it really quickly. Find out where the first two are. So the first one is literally 50-something. Oh, I can even know that. You have to do it this way, though. So 50, what, four, five? 
What do you got? 56. Okay. And then I go over there really fast again. So 58. And it's about 42. Cool. Fifty-eight. Right, and now we do the last one slowly. It's just about saving yourself time. And you always go to the opposite direction again. So you go one direction. But it's going to be like 30-something. Or... Oh, there we go. Uh, when you get the last one, don't move because you can accidentally reset the whole thing. Come oh, in here. wow. Loads of rifle ammo. How much have you got here? That's quite a bit. It's a very, very slow reloading there, fam. Thank you. Okay. Better uh. safe than sorry. I'm going to take it temporarily, but now we're going to drop everything. Okay, so we're just going to drop everything. I'm going to put everything... Normally, I put stuff I don't need in that locker temporarily, but I'll put it in the safe. Okay, so there's 10... Oh, I'll just drop it on the floor, actually. Oh, no, I will drop it in the safe. Right, so we're going to get rid of 10 kilograms of stuff. Um, so we're going to put the gun in there. Uh, things like metal. Very good thing to drop. You can actually sort your stuff by weight, actually, as well, if you want. Uh, if you just press the sort button, so that's by weight. So I'm going to drop that one. Um, absolutely don't need that. Oh, I'll do that last, though. Firewood, another one you can sort of do without, because it'll be very, very easy to find. That's going to get filled up quite quickly, though, isn't it? Let's drop the rest of the stuff on the floor. Right, let's drink a load of water. Basically, when I get myself to around about 40-something, should be that way I can get a, a pleasantly decent weight. Um, I'm going to... I'd ideally like to bring both the lanterns if I could. That one's got loads. Action. I apparently have loads of fuel. God damn. I'm going to refill both of them then. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to use that one until it runs out. Um, let's drop one of the things. Absolutely don't need those anymore. Um, I will become, eventually, not during this playthrough, obviously, um, while you guys are watching, but I will absolutely come back for these. Um, I'm going to try and not drop the clothes. I think we're probably fine, actually. Yeah, that's 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 fine enough for me. Uh, right, so onwards and upwards. So don't forget, as I said, when you're making a big journal like this, um, just exit and go back in again. So there we go. And there now. Oh, actually, one thing we want to do. One very important thing. Before we do this. Um, ideally, I'd like a knife. Right, so I'm going to harvest this, right? Now, first thing I'll do is harvest the hides. And harvest the gut. Now, ideally, you use a knife. I'm going to have to use a hatchet. I'm a bit hungry as well. Um, so we'll eat these. These are, might give me food poisoning. Oh no. Okay. Uh, when it's low condition like that, you might get food poisoning. Right, so the next one. Harvest that one. Gut. Hide. Now. Sneaky little technique. Right, now you see it says 8 minutes. Or I can do 14 minutes. Harvest, cancel. Harvest, cancel. Harvest, cancel. Harvest, cancel. Harvest, do the last one because it's only like three bits. Uh, the reason being is now I have loads of bits of meat and offcuts that I can drop. Um, I'll leave that one full. So now when uh, old Wolfie Boy comes along, I can quickly drop a piece of meat. Not a big chunk of meat as well, just a tiny slither. And that way I can drop the meat without even feel like I'm throwing away my food. That's what I re regularly use rabbits for. It's just so incredibly handy. Um, and you just kind of don't have to worry about 
wolves at all, really. Um, and you're not feeling like you're leaving your good meat, like the deer meat or anything like that. Okay. Technically, I could have left those skins here, but um, it's fine. Right, so what we're going to be doing is we're going that way, getting to the train tracks and going down there. And then, then we'll get to the, what I would argue is the best temporary uh, home you can use uh, in this location, which is the camp cabin. That you can do you for days and days, like tens of days. Especially now with all the updates to this game, you're kind of self-sufficient in that one area. If you obviously want to get the most out of the game, you do obviously want to explore and, you know, see the wild world. Wider world, rather. So let me do this. So I'm, I'm using a, an Xbox controller right now, right? And if I just press down on the D-pad, I drop that. I drop a piece. Now, annoyingly, it seems to randomize what you pick drop. So usually what will happen is I, I will have um, only be carrying those slices of meat. And I'll just drop it down. And if a wolf comes, they'll immediately, they'll start growling at you. And then you'll drop it and they'll make a little sound. And then you back away from it and you can walk around. And the wolf will eat the meat. Aha. There we go. You see him? He can have my guy, it's fine. Now he's gonna... Oh. Is he gonna go for it? There he is. He's gonna eat the gut. Oh no, he's still after my gut. There we go. He's gone for the meat. Apparently their IA has got a bit more cruel and evil. And well, now that he's eaten that meat, which I could go back for, I won't, because it's not worth it. That gut actually might be cured now. Um, uh, now that he's got that meat, he'll actually, once he eats some of it, he'll actually stop chasing you for a while. You may also notice that he's still slowly walking towards me. That's because I stink. I smell of meat. Um, and therefore, you know, he wants, wants some of that meat. So that's also something to be aware. You will be more attractive to the monsters. It's a bit annoying that I dropped the uh, the gut on the floor. Um, it just seems to randomise what you drop. I think or it might might drop the lowest condition thing, maybe? I don't know. Um, so normally I'm only carrying the slices of meats because it's not therefore something I miss. Uh, the reason why you want the gut and the, um, the skins is because you want to cure those. So the way you do that is you drop them on the ground and leave them indoors for a, a few days and then you can start crafting stuff so he's following me for ages look at him um so you can make like um oh there's some birch here so you can make things like um uh, mi rabbit skin mittens wolf skin cloaks bear skin jackets things like that i could shoot him i don't want to shoot him i'm still a bit way down. I'm not going to pick that up actually because I don't want to slow myself down. Uh, the reason why I don't want to shoot him is not so much that I don't want to waste a bullet as such. Um, I want to shoot him when he's close to my play at home. Fuck's sake. You waste of a bullet. Go on, get it. You prick. There we go. See, he's walked off now. He will come back again, but he'll usually meander off for a bit. So a big thing is when you kill a wolf, or anything really, is the ideal world. You want to kill it as close as possible to where you're currently staying, because obviously the time it takes to harvest the animal. To, you can actually quarter corpses now, but even so, you're still going to take a while doing that, and a wolf might attack you while you're doing that. Oh, he's properly going for it, isn't he? Cheeky little shit. I'm trying to not use up any of my bullets. I've got quite a lot of offcuts. As you can see, that making those offcuts was so useful. I think he might be going to get something else, actually. But I've got a second rabbit, so it's fine. I'm a little bit miffed he took my guts, though, but to be honest, eventually you get so much gut that you don't need it. So that little symbol in the top, uh, the little shield, that means you're protected from the wind chill. So right now, if it were really, really windy, I wouldn't suffer any or too much negative effect from uh, if it were particularly windy. So that's useful to know. Right. So he seems to have left me alone, which is good. There is some bits and pieces around there. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll probably, not during this video, obviously, but when I go over there, um, I will, um, when I go to swing back and get my other stuff, I'll then just clear out those final pieces. 
but there's some bits over here. I think there's also a route there between a new location, more correctly, but I'm not going to go there. Yeah, if I fire the gun, that wolf will run away, even if I don't hit the wolf. But again, don't want to use up my bullets, so. Rail tunnel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's some stuff. Okay, so let's just, uh, hopefully, is that a crowbar I see before me? I think it is. In which case, I could go back. I'm not gonna. Boy! Crowbar, pretty much pry bar, rather. I'm getting all the names wrong. Uh, pry bar, essential for uh, exploring. Oh, a scarf. Ooh. And meats. I'm a little bit weighed down, but as I said, it's just over there. Um, I will now no worry too much about shooting a wolf. Because of the fact that this is closer to where my end home is going to be. But in the ideal world, I don't. Until I get there. Oh, is that a knife? Ah, get in. Uh, you want to use a knife for skinning, not the axe, because it's better for it. Axe for axing, knife for knifing, you know? Um. <laughs> and yeah, uh, one thing, if it's really blizzardy and you can't see, when you're on these tracks, if you look at where the cables are, keep following the cables, so we're now at the southern side, so we're going north. Um, if it's completely blizzardy and you can't see, the cables, as we'll see in a sec, actually veer off. They basically, the cable joins to the cabin that we're going to, uh, to the, to the right, so to the east. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be a little bit of a way because we're a little bit loaded down, but we'll get there eventually, yeah. We're just taking our time. See, it's walking simulator, but I find this very cathartic. I've got my little mug of, mug of, well, not mug of tea, I've got a mug of coke, but, um, normally I'll have a mug of tea. I really like to get into it, actually, get myself a coffee. And just sit here and just survive and trudge around, it's fun. <sighs> and there's a, the game is absolutely massive as well. Like, there's loads of regions, and because it's been, I think, I think it first dropped, I first played it in late 2014. Oh, I hear a wolfie. Um, in late 2014. Oh, there are two of them. What was I saying? In late 2014, when it was in beta, and it used to be just this region. But not only did it just was just this region, um, it was also limited. So, for example, now you can ostensibly survive for hundreds, if not thousands of days. Effectively, almost forever, right? Because you end up switching back to using a bow and, like, sustainable stuff. Um, I, th I think there is a point where you physically would run out of things like Tinder and things like that. Um, but I think they might have fixed that. But back in the day, you could actually only survive for about 50 days. I think it was, like, 50 to maybe 100 days, because there was, obviously, they didn't have as many of the items in the game at that point. Um, which is why I like the... Oh, where are we? I doubt I hit him. Oh! Oh, fuck. Oh, he ran away. Good. Okay, let's go. Scared him off. I thought I'd, uh... I might actually get attacked, which would be a very good educational experience, I guess. I just don't want to rip my shit. I think I have some offcuts left still. That's what often will get you, actually. Is... Hearing a, a wolf, but not knowing specifically where it is. Now, the gun won't scare him anymore. Gotcha, you prick. Right, okay. Good shot. Now, I could... I'm not going to harvest that, because the home is literally over there. Um, but yeah, that was cool. He'll have a lot of gut on him. There might be a second one, but usually when you kill one of them, they get a little bit scared. Yeah, you see where the cable's going off the side there? That's where we need to go. That was actually very good shooting of me, by the way. Not like I'm gloating, but please go well done, Davey, to your screen right now. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> the gun's really hard to use. <laughs> It waves around, especially if your character's cold like he is now, or hungry, the hands start to shake, so. Not like I'm seeking praise or anything. 
Right. I'm gonna pick up these. I so cold in my life. Ah, <laughs> you say that now, dear. Don't you worry. You may notice he's not wearing gloves, even though he technically is wearing gloves. Yeah. <laughs> it, I guess it would be hard for them. I'm gonna. I. I. You. You let it. You let it slide. I did use two bullets. However, yeah, got rid of a wolf, so I'm good at it. You kind of get better with the gun. Um, you actually character does get better at things as well. Occasionally a bear is here. Right, this is this is my place, by the way. Um, but yeah, no, you actually do get better with a gun, um, which is good. So you get a lot of quicker at aiming and stuff like that. So there are two entrances. In case you come here and it's really dark, just use the closest one. Yeah. In we go. Voila, we're safe now, and there's just loads of bits and pieces, and it's all good. Right, first things first, before we do anything else, um, drop these on the floor. Drop, drop, because uh, you want to start curing these as soon as possible. I will have to get some guts, but we'll do that in a sec. Right, let's, before we do anything else as well, let's drop up all my gear so I'm not completely overloaded. For fuck's sake. And I am going to turn the light on so I definitely know where things are. Um, I'm pretty sure the Christmas lights are only during actual Christmas. Like, it's in IRL Christmas. But don't hold that. Because it's December right now. Um, obviously, if you're not watching this video live, you won't know that. And I think it's just... Yeah, anyway. Right, I'm going to store my stuff in here for now. You absolutely can, uh, I'll demonstrate, you can place items down so I can do this, and you can do that with everything. Um, a lot of people do that to make their, you know, base look cool. I'm not going to do that, obviously, because that'll take ages, but you can, if that's your thing. Right, I'm just going to put all the wood. I do like to sort of organise things a bit, but for now I'm just going to sort of... That's a lot of books, transfer all, thank you. Um, I'm just going to dump all my stuff off because I'm a little bit, you know, weighted down, and I. I'm gonna drop, drop those, drop those. I've got loads of gear. Um, I'll keep hold of the clothes for now. Can I wear two pairs of gloves? No. I need to find food. You're fine. Um, anything else I want to put in there? Yeah, put you. Oh, it's weighted down. Cool. Okay. So normally I'd organise stuff a little bit more, but I'm, I'm not doing it, because obviously... Not really fair on you lot, is it, watching me? Um, I pretty much always only carry two flares around, because I just find them really annoying. So annoying. Um, and all of my extra light sources, because I like to use the directional buttons uh, to move stuff around, so... I tend to keep things as minimal as possible. Um, okay, so we're pretty much fine weight rides now. Yeah, see, so yeah, I can walk around now. Cool, right, let's um do some stock of what we got here, then. Okay, as always, whenever you're exploring, first time, definitely have the lantern, because you will lose stuff. Could end up being useful. Again, notes, you can read them if I like, don't bother. Uh, there, um, I think most of them are by Kickstarter backers, if I remember correctly. Um, I did. I was not a Kickstarter backer. I'll be completely transparent. This was um, back when I was, you know, 2014. I was fucking skinned the shit back then. Just gotta go. You're fine, dear. Uh, so I was unable to be a Kickstarter backer. I'm not gonna pick that up. But there's a bed roll right there. Cool. Um, randomizes if there's a corpse in here. I do kind of sort of prefer when there's no corpse, but I'll manage. No! Don't break down, you dickhead. I will keep those. It's might better than the ones I have. There's often quite a lot of good stuff in here. Um, most it's just loads of clothes. Quite a lot of food. Uh, but it's the best location because you can break all of this stuff down for wood. Um, and you can also... Um, you just usually get, you get most of what you'll need here. So if you're ever near the train tracks and you don't know what to do, go to here first. Easy to find. If you're down at the bottom near the, um, uh, near that little tunnel that we're back there, you just need to go up. Um, if you are near a bridge, you can go south, so just, just go opposite to the bridge. 
And if you're near the dam, go in the dam. There's loads of stuff in the dam. What we're going to do, by the way, is I'm going to end this video with me going to the dam. Not going inside. Well, going inside briefly, but I won't explore. Because that'll be the surprise for you lot. Um, I don't need to pick up a second storm item, but there is a, a storm lantern there. Actually, I will, just for the sake of being organised. I usually put everything upstairs, basically, in case you're curious. I might have mentioned this once or twice already, but um, there is an Aurora. Oh, a tin opener. One of the more important items in the game. Um, there is an Aurora that happens periodically. When that happens, and you'll see because the lights will be glowy and shit, all of the electricity will start turning on. Uh, that is when here starting to slow me down. you can do things like read these laptops or s turn on radios. Um, you can also turn on the... Uh, um, the flashlight as well, which is quite handy. But then the wolves go all weird and creepy as well, so. Um, I use this filing cabinet to store meat, in case you're curious. <laughs> um, if it's, th this is your, like, best player home for ages. Um, so I tend to dry, kind of, store all of these bits, speaking of. Uh, what you can do is, when you're looking at these things, you can just hit... Whatever your place button is, in my instance, it's the left trigger, and I can just place them down now. I like it because it enables me to keep things a bit organised. With cured meat, it's handy because you can kind of lose stuff. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to drop off all my stuff. I'm going to do some cooking. Uh, we're going to go skin that wolf, um, and then we're going to make our way to the... Uh, the dam, the hydro dam up the road, and I think that way I can leave the video just there. I'll give you a taste of what the game is like, give you an introduction to how to play, um, and also we'll see what encounters we um, encounter on the way. Okay, uh, so I've got still got quite a lot of weight. I'm a little bit hungry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a fire. Always take charcoal. I could eat anything right now. Well, calm your tits, love. Oh, I need wood. Got loads. I've got loads of reclaimed wood, so I'll just use that. Cool, right. Now, um, fires, if you work for it, says um, fire base chance of starting 40. So, depending on what your tinder is, I use a tinder plug um, and different kinds of fuel. It says chance of success goes up. So, if I, if I use certain kind of matches... I think it's if you use... There's paper matches, which are less good. And if I use wood, it's harder to start. So basically, very important, you want to use books to start fires, but then don't use books as a fuel for a fire, okay? Now, I can use accelerant. I'm not going to. Very important. Only ever use books to start fires. Don't ever use books to add to a fire, unless you really need to. And you notice because we used the accelerant before, it was really, really fast. This time, it's it's obviously a little bit slower, and it has an eighty percent chance of that working. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Perfect. There we go. So now we add fuel to the fire. Do not add your books, especially ones that you haven't read yet. Sticks are one of the better things to put to fires, but yeah, unless you desperately need to. Don't add books to fires, yeah? Use the start fires. Yeah, it's going to keep repeating that one again. <laughs> okay, let's have... Oh, let's have some nice tomato soup. I can actually put it in a pot if I like, but... Nom, 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 nom. So what I can do is do it this way as well. So I can do... I have two cans of tomato soup. So you can cook the can on its own like that, or you can cook it in a pot like this. I like putting it in a pot, because it just looks nice. 12 minutes until ready, so we'll just click on it. And because it's only 12, actually, no, I'm going to actually be efficient full of time, as I said you should be. It takes exactly 10 minutes. Would you know that's quite efficient? There we go. Nom nom. Uh, eating warm food uh, gives you a bonus to your... See, I'll get that plus symbol right there. So it's kind of a, a useful thing to do. 
Realistically, I don't need to do it now. It's better if you're actually going out. Um, I'm a little bit tired, but I will probably go out for a bit. Um, I've got quite a lot of... Ah, so what I'll do... What I'll do, what I'll do, what I'll do... Probably should have done this before, but oh well. Realistically, I should have um, harvested this before. So let's harvest this for 30 minutes. Uh, always change your tool. You see, it's very much quicker. Um, I'm going to get barely anything out of this, but why not? We'll cook a bit of rabbit. Nom, nom, nom. Cooking pot. Cook. Gaby rabbit. Um, it's a grand total of 400 calories, so it's not very much. We'll uh, cook some. He's a bit hungry, isn't he? Uh, 400 thing. Let's have another pinnacle peaches. I've actually, the good thing is, because I've got this gun... Um, I'm pretty much sorted for food. At least for a while. I'll, I'll be absolutely fine. I won't have to worry too much. Oh, actually, no, I don't want to do that. Because that provides... Ooh, so, uh, we'll just wait. Past it already. Eat that. And I'm going to be slightly wasteful with the fire here. And eat this. Um, one thing. You want to... Did I eat that? didn't eat that. Fair enough. No. Fuck off. Um, one thing. Um, eating carnivores, so bears or wolves, actually gives you a chance of getting kind of like, I think it's ringworm or something like that. So that's worth bearing in mind um, that, yeah, don't, don't, don't eat. Don't eat them, really. It's bad. Don't do that. There's a bit more space in here, so I'm gonna just... Uh, let's see if I can optimize my clothing while we're here before we pop out. Nope. Nope. It's all shit. Right, we'll just pop that in then. Uh, put the other one. I don't know which one's which. Fuck it, we'll put both of them in there. It's fine. Uh huh. -huh. Usually what I like doing is I break down all of my stuff. So eventually, like, most of the, the crappier clothes, um, I put... I'll keep one of those scarves, actually. Uh -huh. See, actually, weight-wise, I'm sort of fine. I usually bring a can and one of the pots with me as well. Right now, transfer all. Cool, that's fine. Let's get a bit dark, so what we'll do is we'll rest up until the morning. Now, the slight issue is, is you see how sleepy I am? I'm not actually sleepy enough to be of much use. Um, because of the fact that if I sleep now, I'm actually going to be awake for um, a base. I'll sleep and it'll still be dark. So what I'm going to try and do is take some wood. And I'm going to turn this, because it's about to get dark too. I think. Let me double check. Eh, in about now. And I'm actually going to add fuel to this fire, and I'm going to have this burning through most of the day. I'm going to have this burning for about three or four hours. And I'm going to read. And that way I'm going to sit next to the fire. Um, that way, because basically if, the if it gets dark while I'm trying to read a book, um, I won't actually be able to... Uh, Continue reading it. So, prove your cooking skill. Let's do fire. And the best one is the one that allows you to do campfires. But we'll use. Um, I'll do two hours at a time. How much fire left have I got? Should be fine. And this should make me nice and sleepy, and also, there we go. And that's improved my rifle skill, and if you want to see where your skills are, there we go. So, carcass cleaning, firearm, and if I read another one of those books, I'll suddenly be better at shooting. With all these skills. Oh, the gunsmithing, so that one's new. That one's new, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, misfiring ammunition. Okay, I'm a bit hungry. Right, so let's eat. 
Um, I might get food poisoning, but I should have loads of stuff. For... It's better to get rid of your slightly, you know, crappy food first, eh? You can get food poisoning, and that means you can die, but um, I'll probably be fine. A bit low on water, actually. Didn't think that one far ahead. I think I put some in. Did I put some in the thing? Yeah, I'll be fine. Right, always sleep for about four hours. I can actually make some water in the night. That's what I actually should have done. I should have made more water. It's fine. It's all right. It'll be okay. Okie dokie. Okay, let's drink a bit more of that water. I've got soup and peaches, so I should be grand. Yeah, no, right, right. So yeah, this has actually been a very successful run because I've pretty much done the entire west side of the map, um, minus that uh, that what do we call it? That last little area um, where those wolves are chasing me, and also I do need to swing back and get pry bar open that locker. There might be nothing in there, but because it's a pry, anything that I have to pry open with a pry bar is usually worth a sneaky visit. Right now, I don't have any drink however because there are so many places for me to loot it's incredibly unlikely i'll need more water now what i can do uh, this is probably a useful time to do this is i can also repair my gear which is what i'm gonna do so what are we putting on first yeah looks better as well okay so those lights on no. Okay, so let's uh, repair some bits and pieces. Actions. So yeah, I can repair. Um, I've got. I've got. I've got two pieces of cloth. So the reason I want to do this is because it it makes your your stuff much better. Um, obviously sewing kits when they're. Uh, I failed. I thought I had a hundred percent chance. I think you will lose the cloth. But I repair these. Come on. Oh, that was its condition. There we go. So now that has got a much better arm. Um, I might even quickly actions harvest that. Keeping your stuff over 50% is, is kind of the better thing to do. Okay. Chances. Eventually you get better at repairing and also you repair more. There we go. Look at that. Um, I'm actually going to quickly repair all of this. Well, take a second. A bit hungry, but it'll be fine. Oh, actually. Yeah, I should probably get going. Yeah, I'll get going. Let's double check. Did I leave any water in one of these? Or... It's not the end of the world if I didn't. No. We'll be fine. We won't be fine. <laughs> he was not fine. Nah, it's fine. Look at loads of stuff. Um, let's do that. Again, this is cold, so it won't warm me up, but it won't actually make it colder. And soup and things are quite good for... I'm going to have all the slightly... Uh... Hear that siren going by my house then. <laughs> I'm going to have all the slightly uh, banged up stuff first, because that way, if I'm going to get sick, I'd rather get sick inside rather than when I'm meandering around. So there we go. I've got enough food. Right. Okay. Onwards and upwards. We are going to make the journey to the dam now. And what do we remember to do? We go inside. Otherwise, I have to go through all of that stuff that I did as I just woke up. And that would be an absolute bull lake. And now we go back outside again. Just a little uh, pro tip there. Right. Okay. So, going to harvest that wolf first. I'm... I'm gonna harvest a few bits and pieces off him as well. How far is he? Actually, no, I'm not gonna harvest that wolf because that'll take ages. Wolf's over there. It's not massively urgent. The, the, what will happen is the amount of meat you can harvest will go down. Um, however, I only really want wolves for the, uh, the skins and the guts. Cheerful, I know. Um, and therefore, I don't really need to do it. So we're going to make a slightly swifter journey to the dam. So I've got a gun right now. Um, and that changes everything up. Uh, because 
usually... It's kind of hit and miss on whether you'll get lucky finding a gun or not. But now that I do have one, it means I can kill any wolf that comes across um, any deer. And even just the ten bullets that I have are like, I think it's... Yeah, literally the eight, ten, eight rounds I have left. Um, pretty much guarantees me ten to twenty days effectively of survival now. Well, maybe like 10, 10 to fifteen days worth. And that's not ignoring the fact that I can, you know, live off rabbits scavenge food i can make all the stuff so i'm in a really strong position now which is grand and yeah i, I didn't actually expect to find two guns as well which is awesome uh so this is sort of so that's basically sort of the halfway point or maybe like the the bottom half this is probably the the actual half i do tend to find having the gun out is a really good idea Here's actually an incredibly useful place to rest up because obviously you've got a uh, protection from wind chill. Plus there's loads of books and stuff. God, I'm getting loads of... Getting really lucky with the book. Because um, books, again, they're obviously... It's good for, you know, training your character up, but books are the best thing for starting fire. I'm just going to keep reorientating that. Start fires of books. It's a maze. It's a maze. And also, by the time you actually run out of someone loudly driving by my house, um, when you start running out of books, ooh, fancy, um, you, your, fire, your fire lighting skill will have probably gone up a little bit. So to the point where you probably won't have to... Oh! Ooh, ho, ho, where are you? Behind me? Oh, missed. Fuck. There we go. There we go. Now you get to see combat. Right, so I've hurt him a little bit. So he's now wounded. Let's take a look. So, I didn't actually damage my clothes very much, which is quite cool. Okay, that's probably the most common way you get taken out by wolves. But to be honest, that was a pretty benign... He didn't even really get my gear that much. I don't think he even ruined anything. So yeah, see, cold. he kind of slightly damaged a bit of it, but not very much. Mainly because I got the knife. Um, he'll probably die now, so that wolf's dead. That's handy. Uh, you can sometimes drop your stuff. Um, you can hunt the animal down, as you can see. Uh, let's just quickly show you this, actually. So you can follow his blood steps. A uh, very big thing with wolves is that you don't immediately kill them. And they're still quite dangerous when cornered. Uh, so if you're impatient, yes, you can just, like, you know, shoot it again. Um, a bow is probably the best thing to use, because obviously you're not wasting a valuable bullet. Uh, the reason why this can be quite dangerous, I'm actually not going to, is you just follow it around until it drops dead. Um, I'm not going to, because I there are just I'm going to be end up having too many wolves. Um, that's another little pro tip. You really, really don't need to chase wolves around. You will be killing a lot of them. Um, if you go too close to them, they will attack you. And that's an absolute bull lake. And then they just run off again. So you want to, you just have to kind of follow them around for a bit. I tried throwing rocks at them. That didn't do anything extra, I'm afraid. But yeah, no, that's kind of how you usually get caught out by wolves. But as you can see, they're not really that, if you're like, kind of got reasonably decent energy basically and I got a dagger and you're quite quick uh, usually you can take them out reasonably quickly um, but it does damage your gear a bit but obviously ideally you don't want to get in fights of wolves yeah that's how they usually get you right so there's another train carriage and then there's a bridge and then there's the dam so this area is big, but if you kind of look at it from the grand scheme of things, it's not massive. Sneaky little shit. It takes a couple of days for wolves to come back as well, I think. There's usually a couple and down this path. So when you're walking down these rail tracks, bear that in mind. Try and have some meat on you or something like that. They run away, but if they're already kind of mid-charge, they, they probably are... They won't really be as intimidated as they could be. So you kind of... If you're going to shoot the gun at them, shoot the gun at them from a further enough a distance if you just want to... If you just want to scare them off, basically, shoot them from a long way. 
Oh, this is incredibly rare. So basically, usually, when you're... Oh, God, so much revolver ammunition. Um, usually, when you're... Like, all your gear will be these slots. Occasionally, you'll get stuff for these slots here. Um, that's frozen. So I'm going to take that off for now, because it's actually not even a... It's just frozen solid, so I have to dry it off first. So take off for now, but that will... Uh, but the reason why that's very really important is you don't want that to be destroyed by a wolf. So, um, if you know you're about to be attacked, I don't think, very correctly, this doesn't pause, to my knowledge. Um, if you think you're about to be attacked, or you're about to go wolf hunting, take off your valuable gear. Um, because if it gets, if it gets reduced to zero, um, it'll be ruined. And if it's ruined, you can't repair it. Oh, I can still eat this. Yeah, I've got loads of food. I could harvest that, I'm not going to bother. Um, you will find lots of frozen deers around. Um, highly, 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 highly suggest that you skin them. Um, obviously, I'm trying to show you guys the dam, so I won't bother. But highly suggest you skin them. Because you can usually get enough to make some deer skin pants. And the sooner you start curing all of the skins, the better. See, here we go. Here's the dam. Here's the bridge and dam. There are wolves around here. We're going to pop into some little cabins over there. Pop into the dam, and I'm going to leave it there. Because the dam takes about 30 minutes to explore. It takes a while. There's also... <laughs> so there may or may not be a wolf inside the dam. And uh, there used to be. A guaranteed. Or not a guaranteed, but there was a wolf famously called Fluffy. You may have heard of. But then they removed Fluffy because there were pathing issues. However, they always hint that maybe Fluffy is coming back. And the last update did say Fluffy. Mm -hmm. So maybe Fluffy's back. I deliberately don't Google that to find out. So I have no idea. But maybe Fluffy's back. Maybe Fluffy's not back. Uh, check cars. Always check the back. You can hang out in these. Like read carry. books and stuff. Um, I wouldn't recommend it because it's not very warm. Um, you can check these. I've never, ever found something in these visors ever for what it's worth. But a uh, habit I always check just in case. You never know. They like to sneak stuff in updates, which is why I always check. Right, okay, cool. So these uh, cabins uh, do have good stuff in them. Let's do these two quickly. I've actually said I've only played for about an hour and a half, and I've done quite a lot. I've basically done almost a third of this entire lead. area. Um, or maybe like, yeah, a third, 40% maybe. Cool. Make sure you always travel with things like a pry bar with you. And as you see, the reason why I've got my lantern on is I would have missed some of those bits. Like that little, uh, little cheeky, uh, cheeky bits there. Ooh, dog food. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. Love a bit of dog food. <laughs> Loves it. It's fine. Tasty. <laughs> right. Okay. Nothing in here. This one's a bit shit, isn't it? I'm going to be a bit naughty and leave my lantern on because we're just going to walk over across the road here. But technically, you should leave your lantern off when you leave. Was that a dog barking or was that wind? We will find out in a second when I go outside. He's getting a little bit weighted down. Fortunately, I'm not going to be exploring the dam or actually making the return trip during this video. But just to give you an idea, it will take me a while to lug all of the stuff back. I really like herbal tea. One thing I like to do, and again, this is a relaxing game for me, is when I get my character settled, I like to plan my days. And he'll have like a nice cup of coffee in the morning and speaking of a nice tin of coffee this. so get five cups of coffee and eventually you'll get loads of that and I like to you know do a little coffee in the morning and then it goes to bed have a nice little bit of green tea it's very nice it's very 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 cathartic nice I'm getting some good stuff here obviously all of this all of this if once I like repair all my gear. 
all of my clothing, which I usually like to spend a day inside doing, um, you'll be pretty good to go, to be honest. The difference between repaired gear and slight damaged gear is quite profound, just as an FYI. Don't neglect your gear. Right, um, I've got some new bits and pieces, actually. Oh, what did I just take that off? Oops. Nope. Nope. Okay. An extra pair of socks. See, I, I imagine I'd probably get my warmth bonus to about 11 if I repaired all of this, possibly even higher. Right, okay. So we're going to go to the, the dam now, and then I'm going to leave it there. I am going to get my gun out just in case, because I think I heard a bark, but I'm not too sure. This is one of the dangerous areas as well, so... um. Uh, I'm not going to go there, but you see that little stump there? You can make tea out of those mushrooms. It's a bit noisy, isn't it? So, this is, um... I'm going to go inside, but I'm not going to explore it. I'll, I'll basically just leave the video there. Um, this is one of the more... densely packed areas. You can get a lot of good stuff in here. As of when I did the first video, I actually spawned right next to this. And it was basically a 40-minute video of me just exploring that. Um, I would... Be careful when you're inside. Uh, I said I don't know if the uh, the wolf has come back or not, and it is very creepy. Um, also, beware if you get the aurora where the lights are all green. Um, it will be a bit dangerous inside. Um, with uh, um, with lots of electronics going off, so just bear that in mind. Onimus. Right, so I'm going to leave that there, because I'm not going to spoil the inside of this. Uh, so I said, there is a chance there's a wolf in here, infamously called Fluffy. There is hints that Fluffy may be come back or not, I don't know. Um, I, last time I was here, it's quite a big area as well. There's loads of different floors, there's lots to do, and as you can see, it's a bit ominous and scary. Um, and I think, actually... Oh, that no, sounded like the stuff was on. Right, anyway, I hope you guys have found this a little bit handy. As I said, I decided to keep this a bit more of a longer form video, where I just kind of give you a, a guide of how I would do my first hour and a half, um, which is what we've done. Uh, as always, follow me on Twitter, at NoRespots. I will be continuing this save on, uh, so there'll probably be a video in a week. For those of you who want to kind of see what the later game looks like, um, I'll try and maybe do when I'm, like, say, you know, 20 days in or something like that I'll kind of jump ahead I'm only on day two now so you can see the later game looks like um, I will obviously have more fallout stuff uh, more non fallout stuff might do a Christmas vlog as well but until next video you guys enjoy the rest of your week have a lovely Christmas if I don't speak to you until then and you guys take care <laughs>